So I've been playing a lot with improv movement, um, which as a dancer essentially just means moving your body however you want to and making things up off the top of your head. It's like freestyle rapping, but with your body. Um, growing up, I didn't really do much free improv. I did ballet improv, I did character improv, and that's it. Um, and those aren't really free styles. Those are like, here are steps, use those steps in your improv. And what I'm enjoying about improv lately is um, awkwardness. I like doing things that feel uncomfortable, look weird, maybe don't look pleasing to the eye, I guess. I don't know, I like smooth, I like simple, I like small and tiny. And it's what grab, it's what my body gravitates towards, which is very interesting. <laughs> like I improved for about seven minutes yesterday, almost eight minutes, and that was the longest I have ever improved before. And uh, the end of the improv was my favorite part, and I I actually posted it on Instagram. Breathing without knowing how you breathe. favorite part that doesn't mean that I like every part of it it's very scary to post improvs because it's an improv and some of the steps you do you're like I really loved that shit and other steps you do you're like what the fuck was that <laughs> so I really have to amp myself up to post this shit but it feels good to do and to like post it and to just be separate from it once it's done. So I wanted to experiment today and improv a bunch um, and kind of just have an improv day because I have a day off. Um, and instead of just laying around and watching shows like I love to do, I uh, want to improv and I want to make up some shit because I got a company and it's good to improv and feel, feel you feel your limbs um, and use that stuff hopefully in some choreography later down the line. I had a point. My point was is that it's very weird that I um, improv the way that I do 
seeing as I grew up at doing ballet, and like you can see influences here and there of ballet, but not as much as you would figure. But I'm, I am trying to steer away from just doing ballet steps because that's, it's predictable, Aveline. It's predictable. So, um, I'm gonna improv today. Where you going? Where you going? 
we can stop there. That was a long time. Um, so I just want to explain a little bit because, uh, I don't know, it is very vulnerable to just post this whole thing, but I want to. <laughs> I think I'm coming up with just different shapes that I've never made with my body before, and that's really cool to me. <laughs> I don't know if it's just cool to me because I'm a dancer. Um, but something that I think I never really got to experience as a child was, um, dancing freely. I guess like when you dance at like a wedding or a club or a dance, like a school dance, you know, you like dance, but you don't, like I would never try these moves out when I was younger because I felt embarrassed and I was always really nervous to do things steps that weren't steps like I just grew up like I said really heavily in ballet which is so different from any other style because everything has a name even like <laughs> the direction of your body has a name the like not just a step but like everything describing the step the way your head's facing most often has some kind of name and that I think put a lot of uh, fear in me I guess to do anything else so when I did start taking improv classes I thought it was hilarious and I thought everybody was so weird and like trying to do they were really trying hard I guess I always saw it as like wow they're trying really hard to like do I don't know trying to be cool I just had like the wrong mentality about it because now that I've literally I've only been like filming myself doing improv and doing improv for what a month maybe two months um, and it's just here and there but it is opening me up to a lot of things creatively that I'd never thought of before. Um, I just like experience life differently now. Like I, that sounds a little bit exaggerated. Um, but I went to a concert last night and the lead singer at one point was just slapping himself across the face with such commitment. And it was a dance move. And I don't know if anybody else would think about it like that, but I just watched him repeatedly slap himself across the face and I was like that is dancing <laughs> and and I think dancing is literally anything that you do that feels like not normal or not something that you would regularly do so I feel like if anybody up if you just did this you dance and you know what I mean? Oh my God, I'm getting too deep into it. But basically what you just saw is a big old creative process for me. So I'm probably gonna watch that back right now and critique every little thing, but I'm gonna try so hard to just upload it. <laughs> this is such a long video and you know what? So few people are gonna watch the whole thing or care about improv dance, but guess what? It's my YouTube channel. So funny that I used to really, really obsess over YouTube and what I was going to upload on my channel. And now I'm like, holy shit, this is me. This is my experience. This is what I want to film in the moment. This is what I want to document for myself for later on in life. And that's all I care to upload, you know. And if some of you enjoy this, so great. Thank you so much for watching. And if you don't enjoy it, that's really okay too. Hit, hit that dislike button, bruh. Um, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this wasn't too weird and made a little bit of sense. Bye.